Hi everyone, it's me. I'm back. Um, at pattern-collections.com, um, I'm not going to scroll down to the new pattern just yet. Um, I'm going to scroll down to this news portion right here. Um, now it might fall off if you're watching this later. Um, it might not show up here, but under uh, under latest news, there's this article called Practice Makes Perfect. And you can find it anytime under the um, news section. You can go in there. But uh, January 19th, Ina um, posted this about, instead of posting about a artist focus, she decided to put a practice page up. Um, and while some methods of, of meditative drawing uh, insist that it doesn't matter if your shapes are perfect or not. Um, Ina believes that in creative pattern tangling, which is her uh, creation, um, that you want to see an improvement in your work, in your line work over a period of time. And to do that, you need to practice your shapes. So what she's done is um, created a pattern worksheet for circles. So the first one is going to be practice sheets for circles. Um, you can click on the link that will take you to a PDF and you can print it out. And then here is what the PDF looks like. I'm going to turn on my light. So mind the glare. But this is what the PDF practice worksheet looks like. It's got tiny, tiny little circles all the way up to great big circles. And then it's got them again. What you're uh, meant to do is to start out and I'm going to grab, let me grab my red, do I have a red pen? I thought I had a red pen nearby. There's one. Okay. And what you're meant to do is to practice um, your circles from smaller to larger because it's always easier to make a smaller circle. Let me zoom in. Practice from smaller to larger. Um, practice them in a clockwise and then a counterclockwise manner. Um, I find drawing circles easier in a counterclockwise ma manner. But I'm going to, this one says clockwise, so I'm going to do them clockwise. And I'm going to just practice right on the sheet, like so. And you can practice starting in different places. And you want to make sure that you're um, you're doing your best to uh, make your lines meet. And after a while, your uh, muscle memory will create a, a thing, a connection between your brain and your fingers. Her example is um, a child who learns how to tie their shoes. At first. You know, they have to really think hard about tying their shoes and exactly step by step how to tie your shoes. You know, after a period of time and practice, you can just bend down and tie your shoes. You don't have to look at your shoe, right? Same thing with these circles. With a bit of practice, you'll be, and then just keep going. That same sort of size. Just keep going. And with practice, you'll be able to make circles stay approximately the same size. Now, mine are not perfect because I'm not perfect. But what I'm saying is this is a way to practice. And then you will gradually get larger. Here's the next size going clockwise. And you keep going. She's got room for you to keep going here. Next size. Now see, I need more practice with that size. And I also have discovered that, that that particular size is in the wrong part of my glasses. That's important. Make sure you're in, if you've got bifocals, make sure you're in the right part of your bifocal. Let's see, I can practice the next size up and so forth and so on. You get, you guys get the idea. And then the next ones are anti-clockwise, which means go the other way. 
okay? And by the time you're done filling up this whole page all the way across with little circles, bigger circles, bigger, until you get to these big circles, um, and you do them frequently, not just once, but more than once. And she's got a spot here for you to put the date. So make, you know, five or six of these pages and maybe once a week, sit down and draw circles. Um, I hazard a guess that over time, she's going to have practice sheets for various different shapes, not just circles. Um, perhaps teardrops, perhaps just lines or C shapes or um, S shapes. Um, you can do the same thing. Anyway, wanted to let you know about this because um, they announced that all of the patterns this week are going to have circles in them as a basis of our patterns because we're practicing circles. So I'm going to zoom back in a little. I'm going to turn off my light because it causes an issue with my phone. And I'm going to go back to the home screen if I can get it to turn. Of course, you know, your phone never turns when you want it to turn. Go back to the home screen, screen go down to pattern focus, and we're going to find today's pattern, which is going to be right here. A-G-N-I. Agni? Ag, ag, I don't know how to say it. First, we're going to do a row of little circles spaced pretty far apart. And then another row of little circles. Basically, we're going to do a little circle grid. Then offset in between these little rows of circles. We're going to put another circle that's filled in almost all the way, leaving a little bit of white up at the top right there. Okay, then we're going to make those rice type shapes, connecting this one to the middle, like that. And when you do that, it creates this circle automatically. When, but you're not drawing the circle, you're drawing this rice shape right here. Okay, got that? And then step number four inside this shape that's created we're going to follow that aura it makes sort of a curvy diamond shape we're going to split it in half and on one side we're going to color it in and then we're going to come back and add more sort of medium sized circles there are a lot of circles in this one I know why she picked it and that is what we're aiming for right there. So it can be a ribbon. It could probably also be a grid, um, but you'd have to work at it. So I really like, look at, look at how she did the, how nice and big these ones are in her sample. And then she's got other circles in her sample. They just go together. Awesome tile lily. Pretty, pretty tile. So, this is by Lily Moon, and we're going to give this a go. Time to turn on my light. Zoom in a bit so you don't see all the tape that's attached to my page. Um, I'm not sure if there is a string for this week. I forgot to look. Let me look at that real quick. Let's see, how do I go back there? Weekly string. All the way to the bottom. String number 63 looks like this. I'm going to draw it. Sorry, you're not going to see it directly on the screen because well, I can try. It gets quite the glare. Looks like that. So, string number 63 has 
this and that. String 63 looks like that. But see, it can go any of those directions. Doesn't have to stay looking like the letter D. It can go other directions. Now let's think about our tile and see if we want to do string 63 on this particular pattern. I'm not sure that I do, but perhaps I can put it in there and see what's going on. Sorry about the noise in the background. That is the trash truck. It is trash day. All right. I'm going to move it way over. Like that. All right. Let's give this a go. Make it nice and big so I can see what I'm doing here. My step outs. I'm going to go across this way along that little string line. So I'm going to go here and a space like this. And like that. Something like that. And then I want another one and I, I want to make sure that my line stays fairly consistent. So I'm going to I'm going to do that just Give, keep myself in line here. Like that. That's not too bad. And then in here we're going to go a little bit bigger. Like so. And we're going to fill in, leaving a little sparkly bit on the top. It's later in the afternoon than I normally draw. I usually do it earlier in the morning, but a lot of errands to run today. So it is late in the day. Okay, so we're going to do some rice shapes. We're going to do them from here to there like that. And like that. I'm going to go all across this angle first. Let's zoom in just a little bit. I'll across this angle first and then I'm going to come back and do the other angle. That's just easier for me. So yeah, I went to the eye doctor and finally picked up my sunglasses. My regular glasses were finally in and Correct, finally. And now I got my uh, sunglasses in. So I'm driving. It'll be easier for me. See how that sort of circular shape kind of just magically appears? It's weird how it happens, but it does. All you're drawing is these little rice shapes. So yeah, I got my, my glasses. I went to the dentist's office and paid a bill because I didn't want to write a check. I wanted to put it on my health savings 
account credit card. I had to do that in person. Okay, and then in here, we do this shape. there and at this end like this because it's going to have this half a space anyway straight down and on one side you're supposed to color it in I don't think it matters which side well, I'm going to choose this one That's better. I have to sit way back. Even though my glasses are clear now on the various, the three various uh, distances for my trifocal, I don't like the distance that the trifocal is set at. So I'm still not overly happy, but you know, it is what it is. I will just go to a different eye doctor next year. One that will listen to me. All right. And then the next step, I gotta put this other next size. So in here, there's this size. That's what the pattern looks like. And now, you know, I like to do something different with it. I'm going to see if I can't draw it in a arc in order to kind of mimic this, this, uh, this string shape. I'm going to start it here. Let's see if I can't there, there. I'm giving myself some guidelines. I'm going to try that. See what happens. So I've kind of drawn myself a little sort of a rainbow, arky, mandala-like shape. And I'm going to put base, little ones along here and then at this end over here
and then in between, about at the midpoint, I'm going to do a bigger one. Make the little highlight still going the same direction as on those ones. Just so I have some consistency. Okay. And then I'm going to do. Race shapes and in order to not get confused I'm going to do do four different axes separately so I'm going to go from the top to the middle Don't want to get confused. What's that? That looks different. That's weird that it looks so different because obviously you're not going to have a, a this is not going to end up a circular shape because it's a weird angles. So you have them longer here and shorter there. It's okay. It's just different. Up kind of ovally. That's okay too. These are going to end up really big in order to stay round but make that arc. They're going to end up pretty good size. And then the shape with that. I'm going to actually erase all of these guidelines. Okay, and now to embellish, if I want to embellish, I want to, um, of course, make the darks for these triangles, but I think I'm going to, 
going to just do them as diagonal lines instead of coloring in. Just to give them something different. Still looks to your eye as a darker area than the other side where there's no pattern filled in there. See? It's still dark and light. It's just that this is pattern. Um this feels Kind of weird out there. I think I'm going to add more circles. Yeah, that's better. It needed a little something. Oop, that one got a little big. That's okay. It could be big. That's good. Much better. It needed that. Oh, it needs one down here though, right? Yeah. Okay. That's better. I'm happier now. Now to do a little bit of shading and to write down the name of this. Because I won't remember the name of this. That's for darn sure. I always write down the names. Even if I don't Write down the date. A, G, and I. I'm going to sign it here. The name. Alright, so now I'm going to do a little bit of shading. I think I want... I want all these balls to have a little bit on this side. Same with here. And these ones. Everything's just going to get a little bit on one side like that. Something like that. Get my little blending tool. Had a lot of, um, probably had a lot of new uh, subscribers to my channel. I've had a lot of people ask about my supplies again. Um, all the descriptions of supplies that I use are listed in the description of the video. Um, I'm not 100% sure where you find that on the mobile version of YouTube, but in the desktop version, you're going to click underneath the video and uh, click on see more. And it will have the, right where it has the name of the video, it will have other stuff and it will have 
the names of the types of pens that I use. It'll have, I'm not sure if it tells you about the blending stump. Blending stump is just a blending stump. Uh, I, not a particular brand or anything. It's just blending stump. Um, it tells you what I use if I, if I do color, what kind of pencils I have. Um, I thought about getting some sort of Amazon affiliate link if you guys wanted to go buy stuff, but you know what? I'm a, I'm a really big proponent of using what you have. Um, you know, don't go wasting your money and buying stuff that you don't need. You don't have to have fancy supplies to do this art. Use what you have. And you might like something different than I use. So, you know, don't run out and, and do, get something just based on my opinion of what I like to use. You guys experiment on your own and, and find the things that you like to use the best. Isn't that kind of pretty? Came out better than I thought, and I didn't think I was going to use the string this week. Oh, I need to write that down, and I used the string. String number 63. That way I will remember in case I, in case I ever want to go back and reference it. Alright, so you guys have a really great day. Apparently I'm tired and I'm going to yawn. I am so sorry about that. You know, you, you get me the way I am here. Uh, no edits, no anything. I start the camera, I go all the way through to the end, and then I stop the camera. That's what you get. Um... I ain't got time to edit. That's the God's honest truth. I have not got the time to edit. I barely have the time to draw seven drawings in a week. So, you get what you get with me. Um, some people don't like it. And they're just going to have to uh, pass on by and not watch me. That's fine. You don't have to. You don't like what I do? Move on. Not going to hurt my feelings. I will see you guys tomorrow. You have a really great day. And go out and bless somebody today. And make the world a better place, okay? Bye-bye.